oysters. I love uh, just being out in the water. It's my happy place. Abby Barrows is an oyster farmer with two other females contributing to her business in Deer Isle. Her company, Long Cove Sea Farm. She bought the business from a previous fisher back in 2015 and has grown ever since. A lot of wonderful freedoms of um, running your own business, but also a lot of responsibility. Barrows says she has only two other people who help, one farm manager and the other Gisela Nucciaroni, who is her farm hand and helps on deck at Long Cove in Penobscot Bay. See, I went to school at COA. I was mutual friends with someone who did an internship two years ago with Abby. Um, her name's Anna, she's not here today. <laughs> Barrow says it could take a few years for oysters to become market size. She and Nucciaroni spread nets across Long Cove in Penobscot Bay and every morning clean them off, take the ones that are ready for shipping and does it all over again the next day. On her boat, Barrows shucks an oyster and tells us the biology. So this is the, called the lid, that's the cup. And this is the hinge. You can see the muscle there. Right above it is his heart. Um, this is his stomach. These are the gills, so they pass the water through there. And that's what they're, you know, they're filtering that 50 gallons of water a day. You sever the bottom of that muscle so they can loosen them from the shell. And now he's ready to eat. Barrow says she hopes her story will encourage farmers in Deer Isle and Stonington to look into oyster farming and get into the business. She says her biggest dream is to reduce plastic in the business and educate people on the island. In her store, she sells homemade mignette for the oysters and shucking knives. You can find more of those items at longcoveseafarm.com. In Deer Isle, I'm Stephanie Wittenbach reporting for ABC7 and Fox 22.